Hey, this is Ronald from MadSkills University, and if you're looking for a comprehensive external solution to burn BDRs, play Blu-ray movies, to burn DVDs, CDs, I have the perfect solution for you for 125 bucks. My wife's church was looking for a way to back up large data files, and I spent the last two or three weeks trying to find an affordable solution, but I also wanted to play Blu-ray movies on my Dell laptop, my MacBook, as well as my Linux-based Chromebook, and I found the perfect solution. I ran across this drive on Amazon and it's only 69 bucks. It has all these extra ports on it. It has two 3.0 chargeable USB ports, SD card slot. But the cool thing is that it reads and writes CD-ROMs, DVDs, and Blu-ray. So it burns at 6X on BDR, 8X on DVD, and 24X on CD-ROM. It has a Type-C connection and a 3.0 USB connection. And what surprised me is it runs on Windows 7, XP, Windows 10, and Windows 11. It also works on Linux, as well as your MacBooks. So this is a pretty good price for what it can do for 69 bucks. I was a little bit skeptical, I'm not gonna lie. Over 400 of these sold in the last month. And this company, W Bacon, all they do are external drives. Here's some specs on it, some Q&A, things like that. But I always look at the reviews as well. But normally I pay attention to the one star, two star, and three star reviews. But sometimes people just don't do their research. Sometimes people have older systems, so you have to take some of that with a grain of salt. And sometimes you have competitors putting reviews on here too. But I'm telling you now, if you have a decent system, this thing works just fine. I did provide the link below. These were the BDRs that I bought, 10 for 1045, but they were on sale. And you can look around for a better price if you like, but I did provide the link below. This is what it looks like. And it says 16X, but that means it can write between 6X and 16X. So in total, we got this stuff for under 80 bucks. And I connected it using the 3.0 cable and not the Type-C connector. I put in Skyfall, a Blu-ray movie, and it recognized it right away. All I needed now was Blu-ray player software. I've used Cyberlink Power DVD before in the past, but now it's pretty expensive. So I was trying to find a cheaper alternative and I did some research and I found VideoByte. VideoByte seemed to be the one and they even have a comparative page on here comparing that to power dvd 23 and these are the pros and cons so i link this below as well so if you go to video bite here's a blu-ray player and you can download this for free which is what i did at first i'm going to show you what it looks like i actually bought it as well and i'll show you how i did that but it reads everything and it's a really good easy clean player what i like about it also is that Regardless of what you're doing, there's no restrictions and there's no limitations on this thing. If you want to buy it on a Mac or a PC, it's $44.95. I downloaded this. It took just a few minutes to download and even less time to install. So I put that in my apps directory. This is the free version. So I wanted to show you that at first. I click on open disk over here. Click on Skyfall. Give it a second to load and load the chapters and all that stuff. And there you go. The trademark thing is going to be here, so keep that in mind. If you registered it, you just put in your email address and pop in the code. The trademark will disappear. You can also click on chapters over here. The audio, you can change it to different languages. As well as your subtitles. Let's change it to French for the audio. Soit on se bouffe dans l'autre. And we'll change the subtitle to Spanish. Soit on bouffe tous les autres. All the physical stuff, so dull, so dull. So now I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. And I'm gonna use PayPal. And then they send the code to my email. And then now I'll open the disk again and I'll pop the code in. And once you put the code in, it's successful, and it's a lifetime subscription or purchase, and you're good to go. And that's successful, and as you can see.
Bronson's down. Instead of buying that Ripper or some other kind of burning software, I've been using Image Burn or Image Burn for years for DVDs. I can also create ISO files and stuff like that. And I provide the link below for this, but it's pretty easy to use. I'll show you how to use it. Download Image Burn. Once you download it, I can back up files up here or I can back up complete folders right here. If I want to do files, I just go up here and click on it. And the white tab here is for files and I'll find the files I want and we'll copy all those over and they're in there. Now I'm going to put in a blank BDR, the ones I bought on Amazon. And once it highlights, you can just start copying it. But in this case, I want to go ahead and do a folder. So let's highlight this and delete everything. And let's click on the yellow icon instead. And find my folder. It's 17 gigabyte. I'll select that, but it should be good to go. Click on the build button there and just answer yes, okay, yes. Click yes and okay. And it's going to start building and burning that. And that's it. Very simple to use. And it's absolutely free. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to actually waste a BDR here, but this is only going to take about, as you see, 26 minutes to burn. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Till we meet again, have a great and creative day.